A two-year-old boy presents with fever, cough, blocked running nose, coryza, and sticky eyes, conjunctivitis, for four days. Now he has developed a maculopapular rash around his ears and hairline. Rash is continuing to spread over most of his body. He has scapolic spots on buccal mucosa. He is miserable and lethargic for the last five days. On examination, the temperature is 104 Fahrenheit. There is no respiratory distress, but he is coughing. Pharynx is red and he has exudative conjunctivitis. In this lecture, we are discussing about measles and uh, the mode of my communication will be English and Urdu. So the agent, the agent for measles is uh, RNA paramyxoviruses and incubation is up to two weeks, 10 to 12 days. Mode of transmission is respiratory droplets through coughing and sneezing and it can also be transmitted through direct contact. Our first clinical stage we have incubation stage which is for two weeks. Tak hoti hai. Then second, we have a prodromal stage which has polyx spots and mild symptoms which are for the first three days, ke liye, two weeks. Ke baad. Then third stage, the final stage is the maculopapular rash stage which has maculopapular rashes hote hai and with high fever. The second prodromal stage has fever, hota hai, but that is mild. And uh, maculopapular stage you have wo from three days onward hoti hai aur almost three to five days. Tak hoti hai. So let's start the clinical features. The first stage is the prodromal stage, catarrhal phase. In the prodromal stage, there is cough, which is barking, harsh, and noticeable at night. There is coryza, running nose, and conjunctivitis, also called sticky eyes, red eyes. And fourth number is anentheme. Anentheme is basically a rash on mucous membranes. When these uh, rashes convert into white spots surrounded by erythema on bucket mucosa, these are called capolic spots and these occur uh, adjacent to the lower molar teeth and these disappear within 12 to 18 hours. Number fifth is you can have posterior cervical. As you can see in this picture, the capolic spots, these are here, here, here. Now let's move on to the next stage, that is the maculopapular rash stage. First, there is an abrupt rise to almost 104 to 105 degree Fahrenheit, that is uh, 40 centigrade, and uh, the rash starts first as faint macules on the face behind ears and along the hairline. Then the rash becomes increasingly maculopapular as the rash spreads to trunk and limbs. The rash spreads from head to toe. And then the fading of rash occurs in the same way. Fading of rash occurs from head downwards. So second stage of maculopapular rash stage hoti hai, jis mein Abrupt achanak se jo hai, wo temperature rise hota hai, and there is a high temperature up to 104 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, jo rash hai start as faint macules start form a start hota hai on face behind ears and along the hairline. Jaise jaise rash jo hai, wo trunk or limbs ki taraf phailna shuru hota hai, tab wo maculopapular form mein change ho jata hai. Then the fainting jaise hi aur rashes jo hai, sabse pehle head ki taraf se khatam hote hain, then then trunk ki bari aati hai and then uske baad limbs ki bari aati hai. As you can see in this picture, maculopapular rashes. So I have made a mnemonic on uh, measles and you can pronounce it as measles. Uh, it contains M, E, A, H, S, L, E and S. All the alphabets are capital except small s. So the word M means myocarditis and cardiac failure. The word E means eyes. When measles involve the eyes, it causes uh, conjunctivitis, corneal ulceration, and vitamin A deficiency. When it involves the abdomen, GIT, it causes gastroenteritis, villus atrophy. And through villus atrophy, there is protein and energy, malnutrition. 
and from the word H you can make hemorrhage into the GIT, mucous membranes and CNS, the triad of which is called black measles and uh, it, you can also remember bleeding into the rash from the word H, thrombocytopenia due to thrombocytopenia and in the lungs it can cause a bacterial pneumonia which mainly consists of staph it mainly is due to lymphopenia caused by measles pneumonia is the most common cause of death in measles from the word e ears and in the ears it causes otitis media it is the most common complaint uh, in measles from the word s it means SSPE, which means subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. From the word S, you can also remember acute meningoencephalitis. So, how will we diagnose uh, measles? Measles, how to diagnose karna hai? Kaun -kaun se investigations? Karni hai? First, measles ko di key diagnosis is clinical hai from the clinical symptoms. And then uh, you can also find uh, multinucleated giant cells in nasal smears during prodromal stage, first three days. And then you can also do tissue culture or antibody titer uh, from the serum. And you can also do WPC count. WPC count you have a coffee low hoga with relative lymphocytosis. Or lymphocytosis you have oh, lymphocytes you have oh, increase hongi, relatively as compared to other you have WBCs. Uh, mm -hmm. Complication of encephalitis occurs then when you do lumbar puncture you will find increase in protein and small increase in lymphocytes in the CSF fluid. So what can be the differential diagnosis of measles? Exanthematous viral infections like exantheme, subitum, also known as the sixth disease, rubella, erythema, infectiosum. In some you have rashes that your skin involved. There is scarlet fever, meningocemia, drug rash and serum sickness, infectious mononucleosis which is caused by Epstein-Barr virus, Kawasaki disease also a vasculitis. So these are the differential diagnosis of measles. Management of measles is mainly supportive. Vitamin A as you know that measles you have vitamin A deficiency cause and vitamin A deficient uh, people ko chance hota hai ke they can get measles once daily for two days is the recommended daily intake and the dose is 200,000 IU international units for uh, people for children less than 12 months or older and it is 100,000 international units 6 months to 11 uh, months infants and 50,000 international units less than 6 months For vitamin A deficient, you have third dose be the after two to four weeks. Antipyretics, sedatives, bed rest, adequate fluid intake, is are supportive measures me aajata hai. Iske alawa humidification of the room, by cuff ki wajah se jo irritation ho rahi hai, wo kam se kam ho. Iske alawa human immunoglobulins, uh, antibodies jo hai, within six days of exposure, which is a measure of uh, passive immunization it it karta uh, kya basically uh, acute attack ko abort kar deta and uh, for immuno it is also indicated for immunocompromised non immune pregnant women non uh, immune children less than 3 years and uh, aap measles ki prevention kaise kar sakte hain Measles can be prevented by vaccination at 15, at 12 to 15 months. Uh, it is done at basically at 12 to 15 months because to achieve a maximum efficacy. MMR is a measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine, which is a combined vaccine, and it's, it is a live attenuated vaccine given at 12 to 15 months. Thank you for watching this short lecture on measles. Uh, from the chapter of infectious diseases for more videos subscribe to my channel and like this video